Hi, this is Attorney Haji Hidlaw and welcome to my channel, Demeter Pharma. Now guys, if you like my videos and my discussions, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and share our videos. Thank you and God bless. Hi, this is, Atter this is Attorney Haji and welcome back to my channel, Demeter Pharma. Okay guys, ang topic natin ngayon sa araw na to ay ang landmark case on psychological violence titled Jaime Arasa I. Harupay vs. People of the Philippines GR number 247429 September 8, 2020 Okay guys, ano yung kasong to? This was recently released by the Supreme Court around last week kung saan nagulantan yung lahat bakit guys kung sino man ang nagkamali ang lalaki na pumatol sa ibang babae na siya ay kasal na at meron siyang asawa ay pwede na ngayon makulong dahil sa pambababae okay okay, okay guys so Let's proceed to the facts. Ano ba talaga tong kaso ni Jaime? Okay. So, yung pangalan ng asawa ni Jaime ay withholded sa ay na withheld sa kasong to. So, tatawagan na siyang si A. She testified that na, she and Arasa, Jaime, were married on October 5, 1989 at Malati Catholic Church. And from 1989, namuhay sila bilang husband and wife. Hindi sila nagkaanak, guys. So, malamang yun yung cause ng kanilang uh, broken marriage. Okay. Now, here si Jaime is a former OFW. So, kailan ba ito nagsimula? Um, itong si Jaime, without saying a word, left on November 22, 2007. And because ito nga si, yung asawa niya, si AAA, ay, she was looking for, uh, for Jaime And out of desperation, she sought the help of the NBI to search for him. So they found out that Jaime is living with her mistress again. Okay, before ni to guys na na isung to a month before on September twenty two thousand seven, ay nagkaroon ng arig luhan sa sa opisina ng pulis na kung saan ipinahuli nito nitong si Triple A ito si Jaime sa mga pulis at doon nagkaroon ng ng amicable agreement na si Jaime at yung mistress niya si Teresa ay maghihiwalay na pero after a month dahil hindi nakaya siguro nito si Jaime ng guilt nito ay tuluyin tuluyan niya nang linayasan etong si Triple A. Okay. Sa so, ayon sa investigation nito ng NBI, si Jaime mismo ang ang umalis sa conjugal abode on his own volition and he has been living with his mistress ever since bilang husband and wife. And as a matter of fact, Three children were born out of their cohabitation, and because of this, na pambababa ni Jaime, nagkaroon ng emotional suff and psychological suffering si Triple A. She was suffering from insomnia and asthma, and allegedly, hanggang ngayon, she is still hurting and crying. And hindi siya makapaniwala guys na what had happened in their marriage as they were living 
harmoniously as husband and wife. Okay, guys. Now, ano yung... So, nag-file ng kaso ngayon yung asawa ni... ni... Jaime, si Triple A. So, ang depensa niya ni Jaime ay denial. Pure denial, guys. So, she denied, ay he denied that she, he is having an affair with familiar, with Teresa. And they had three children. So, tinakwil niya yun, guys. But, he admitted na talagang iniwan niya sa AAA because he could no longer stand her attitude towards him. Hindi natin alam, guys, kung ano yung punot dulo nito. Pero, alam natin na Jaime mentioned the attitude of AAA. So, maybe, yun talaga yung nangyari. So, sa mag-asawa ay normal naman talaga yung nag-aaway. Pero, in this case, in this marriage, ay hindi na kaya ng kuno ni Jaime ang uh, ugali ni AAA patungo sa kanya. So, ano nangyari? Sa kasong to, sabi ng Court of Appeals na RA 90-62 does not criminal, criminalize acts such as marital infidelity per se, but the psychological violence causing mental or emotional suffering of the wife. So, this is clear. Na, ang simpleng pag ano yun guys? Ang simpleng pag kakaroon ng kabit ay hindi sapat na dahilan na mag-file ka ng kaso at makulong yung um, lalaki na may kabit. So, you need to establish first that there is psychological violence. And what is psychological violence? Okay, guys. Ang psychological violence refers to acts or omissions causing or likely to cause mental or emotional suffering of the victim such as but not limited to intimidation, harassment, stalking, damage to property, public ridicule, or humiliation, repeated verbal abuse, and mental infidelity. It includes causing or allowing the victim to witness physical, sexual, or psychological abuse of a member of the family to which the victim belongs or witness pornography in any form or to witness abusive injury to pets or to unlawful or unwanted deprivation of the right to custody and or visitation of common children. Which in this case, sa kasong to ay nagkaroon na suffering yung biktima, yung babae. So, may nagkaroon daw ng um, psychological violence. So, ano yung elements ng, ng crime na to? Under RA 9262. Okay. So, one of the... There are four, four elements. And the one is, the offended party is a woman or her child or children. The woman is either the wife or former wife of the offender or is a woman with whom the offender has had a sexual or dating relationship, or is a woman with whom such offender has a common child. And three, the offender causes on the woman or child mental and emotional anguish. And the anguish caused through acts of public ridicule or humiliation. Okay guys, sa kasong to, ang pinaka-importante na dapat yung tandaan is the offender causes on the woman nor child mental and emotional anguish. Guys, nang babae siya. At nag uh, iniwan niya yung asawa niya at nang babae siya. At nagkaroon pa siya ng tatlong anak sa babaeng yun kay Teresa. Okay. 
So, sa defense ni Ara, ni Jaime naman, is that he cannot be convicted daw based on the acts of abandonment and pretenses that he was forcefully detained and marital infidelity alone cannot be the basis for his guilt on this case. So, sa kasong to, procedurally, there were other acts alleged in the information that caused emotional anguish and mental suffering on AAA. So, yun na nga yun guys, it was alleged in the information on this case that Jaime is living with another at meron siyang tatlong anak sa bahay, sa, sa, sa kabit niya. Okay. So, dito, ang sinasabi dito is psychological violence is an indispensable element for the violation of Section 5I of RA 9262. So, kailangan ma-prove nito guys na merong men emotional anguish and mental suffering. Okay. So, ito yung importante dito guys sa kasong to which you should never forget. The law, RA 9262, or the Violence Against Women and Children Act, only requires emotional anguish and mental suffering to be proven. And to establish emotional anguish or mental suffering, jurisprudence only requires that the testimony of the victim to be presented in court as such it is okay it only requires the testimony of the victim because they are personal to the to this party okay guys take note para kayo mapakulong ng habang buhay sa mga babaero diyan kailangan niyo na uh, ang asawa niyo or partner niyo ay papatunayan po lamang na nasaktan siya. Okay? Nasaktan siya, guys. So, it only the court only needs to approve emotional anguish or mental suffering. The court needs to see this, okay? How do you prove emotional anguish? You need to, to present in court the party who filed the case, the complainant, and the doctor or psychiatrist na tumingin sa kanya. Who will um, who will stand as an expert witness. Okay guys, so sa kasong to, this landmark case only proves na um, psychological violence which is prevalent in uh, some of my cases is that it's very easy now to to convict cases like this because kailangan mo na lang i-prove in court ang emotional or mental anguish na babae so as a warning sa mga babaero dyan at sa mga mahilig na mahilig na mambabae guys magbago na tayo este magbago na kayo and make something good in your life okay hanggang dito na lang and this is attorney Haji and thank you for your time don't forget to subscribe and share my videos thank you